If you have rheumatoid arthritis, how do you manage a flare-up of your condition? Hello, this is Dr. Siddharth Dambar, expert in rheumatology and regenerative medicine. In this video, I'm going to discuss what are flare-ups in rheumatoid arthritis and how do you manage that. Very briefly, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune condition meaning your immune system is overacting and instead of just protecting you from bacteria and viruses, it's also targeting your joints, leading to pain, swelling, and inflammation, and if not controlled, potentially even damaging the joints. We utilize medication to help control the condition, and on occasion, this condition can still flare up. So what is a flare-up in rheumatoid arthritis? Essentially, it means that there is a period of increased disease activity, and that can include an increase in pain, in the joints that are affected. It can also include increased swelling in the joints, which is a sign of inflammation. The joints can also feel very inflamed, meaning very warm, tender to the touch. Because of this, you can also have a reduction in function and capability. There can also be systemic symptoms, such as fatigue and really reduced activity level because of that. The duration of this can last anywhere from a few days to even several weeks. A number of triggers can cause this. That can include that if there's any kind of stress going on with you, either emotionally, mentally, or even physically. If you've had a change in your medication, sometimes this can happen. And certainly if there's other medical issues that are active. For example, if you happen to have, have an infection, you can actually get an increase in your disease activity as your immune system ramps up. Or keep in mind also that this can also be a natural part of the disease process. So it's important to understand that how you manage this will depend on how severe this flare-up is. If it's a mild flare-up, and by mild flare-up, I'm defining that as a 20 to 25% increase in your overall disease activity. And that can include an increase in pain, and it may or may not result in a reduction in disease, a reduction in overall function and capability. In those kind of cases, you can treat this in a bit more of a conservative manner. And that can include by utilizing Tylenol or anti-inflammatory medications as needed. If you find that you're requiring that on a daily or regular basis, that may be an indication that your condition is too active and you may need to have your treatment regimen adjusted. In addition, make sure you're taking the correct over-the-counter supplements that are helpful for joint pain and inflammation. And that would include glucosamine, omega-3, and curcumin. Utilizing ice or heat, depending on which one seems to make you feel better, is certainly useful as well. And then frequently, you can have these kind of flare-ups if you've missed a dosage of your medication, either because you've just come off a infection or maybe your pharmacy hasn't sent you your medication yet. In which case, take your medication when it's safe and appropriate to do so to get back on track. And if you're holding your medication because you're ill, Make sure that when that has resolved to restart your medication so that you can get your condition under better long-term control long-term. On the other hand, if you have more than a mild flare, let's say a moderate to severe flare, and that would mean greater than 25% worsening in your pain and symptoms, as well as likely a significant reduction in your activity level, you should certainly do all of the prior mild interventions that I mentioned, but you should probably do more than that as well to get the condition under control. First and foremost, please notify your prescribing physician, your rheumatologist, to, to let them know that your condition is active. They will need to know that to appropriately adjust your treatment regimen. You may require a short-term steroid burst, and that will very quickly get your condition under control. Keep in mind that if you're doing this too often, or if you're taking the steroids for too long, meaning for months on end, it can then lead to a lot of other potential side effects which you want to be wary of. And then if you are flaring this severely, you may need to adjust your treatment overall protocol, whether that's increasing the dosage or increasing the frequency, or it's possible you may need to actually change your medication entirely to something else that may do a better job of controlling your condition. There are some caveats to this, keep in mind. To begin with, understand that rheumatoid arthritis, the natural course of disease, is that there are fluctuating flares and moments where the condition can be much worse. Well, it's important to understand that mentally. Also keep in mind that if that's happening too often or too severely, your rheumatologist should be adjusting your treatment regimen to help control things better. 
In addition, if your condition is generally well controlled, a brief flare up that is managed adequately may not really require stopping or adjusting your treatment regimen long term. It may just be a matter of getting through that short term mild flare up. And then, lastly, always work with your treating rheumatologist who understands your condition best. It's so important to do that because how you manage your condition will vary from one person to the next. How to adjust your treatment regimen will also matter and vary from one person to the other. And if your physician who understands what's worked for you in the past, what hasn't worked for you in the past, is really the best person on the medical side to help guide you in terms of making those decisions. Thank you for your time. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel. Until we connect again, have a good day and live well. Bye-bye.